Hey, old Kermit the Frog here. You are watching the unknown. We are not on Sesame Street anymore, Gonzo. Places, places, please, everybody. All right, three, two, one, action! Another edition of Thoughts and Theories. The video is made just for you. Why? Because I want to know what you think about all things paranormal. So let me know in the comments below of this video, and I will be reading them on an upcoming episode. And remember, you can support the channel by liking this very video, sharing it on Facebook, maybe Twitter and subscribing for new paranormal content every single day. So tell me what you think about this. UFOs. This is going to be a big one, folks. In the comments below, let me know what you think they are. And even better, if you've seen one, or maybe a dozen, let me know in the comments below. Let's get this conversation started. All your comments will be on a future video. We'll see you next time. Hey folks, Rick here from The Unknown on YouTube with an important message for those of us tired of being bullied by Dave Scott of Spaced Out Radio. A man who wakes up every day of his miserable life fueled by the need to kill anyone who enjoys breakfast for dinner.
I invite you to come on over to the unknown where we've got bacon and eggs. And bacon and eggs. We've also got golden hash browns. And fluffy pancakes, too. Hell, nothing says 6 p.m. like biscuits and gravy. Even old Ronald here knows the magic of choice. Other benefits of joining the unknown include never having to wait for me to walk my dogs. We never obsess over men's facial hair. And we all know full well that this is just a natural rock formation. So come and join us at the unknown, where breakfast is what's for dinner. Paid for by the Breakfast Whenever the Hell You Want Foundation. This is one of the most <laughs> All right. My intro didn't work because I didn't realize that the intro that I was playing had to be removed. I was going to do something. So I'm going to do it right now and you're going to like it. Hold on. <laughs> Just pretend the intro ended. trying to make an entrance. I hope that was good. <sighs> well, let me clean up here. Oh. I haven't been here in a while. How's everybody doing? I am Rick from The Unknown. This is my channel. I am back live with the show that started it all, which is called The Hangout. I don't have my thing anymore.
This is the uh, little thing that made my noises and my voice change and all that. How's everybody doing? This is a hangout. Tonight, I intentionally did not have much planned because I just wanted to hang out. Is that all right? It's my last day of vacation. And I went camping with my daughter for her first camping trip, which is fun. We had a good time. I haven't uploaded the videos, but I'm going to get those up there. And probably put them on Facebook, because it's easier that way. So you don't want to watch that stuff. I, I took some videos of the river and... Um, what else? The moon at night. I also got a cloud that is, like, round. I sent it to Game Vet. And, uh... It's, like, round... It's like oval shape, but then it has like another similar oval shape underneath it. I can probably pull it up at some time tonight, so we'll look at that. But it's cool. And it was a Like, I followed it for a while, and I got a little video of it, but then it like dispersed like a cloud, and I was kind of upset because I was actually camping at the place up in that area, Indian Head Resort area up in New Hampshire. Where Bendy and Barney Hill were abducted. The first that first uh, case was reported. I was up in that area. I actually stayed at the resort at Indian Head before I even knew about that, and then realized that at that resort, I think they have a plaque up for that occasion. I think so. I have to recheck that, but I could be wrong. All right, so we're hanging out. We are back live. <sighs> it's so nice to be back live. I haven't been back in a while. All right, I had the camping trip. Issues with other things, but we're back. All right, and we're trying to build a community here. And the only way to do that is to be more present. So we got to be out here almost every day. We have videos or me live or me doing a little video of when I'm going live or what I'm going to be doing when I'm live. Um, so live will be part of it. And then as you see, I have the produced videos that we do occasionally here. And if you're new to the channel, all that paranormal theory, that was the old channel name. Oop, I just dropped something. Oh, maybe that means it's time to bring this up. Please, folks, if you've been here for a while, you know what this is. These are these two, the Star Wars stickers. I have to give these away. Please, get them out of my house. I've had them for like a year. I just banged my computer. I was going to keep one and put it on my tent. My new tent. And have it saying, you know, Darth Vader on the tent. So... I still have three left, okay? We're gonna give them away. And we're gonna do a little contest. And what they are, if you haven't seen them, they are really cool. If you like Star Wars, they're cool. If you, if you know somebody who likes Star Wars, you don't particularly like Star Wars, that's fine, give it to somebody. Somebody, did you know the odds are that you know somebody who likes Star Wars. That's like a fact. It's it's that's how big Star Wars is. It's worldwide universal. Alright. If you know me, then you know somebody who likes Star Wars. <laughs> See? See how that works? Alright, so how this was advertised in the ad was you put this on your toilet seat cover. So when you lift it up it's, it shows that it's and this isn't one big piece. These are like individual, you know what I mean? This is kind of like puffy. What's the material? It's not really puffy, but it's like individual letters, I think. Or were, is it individual letters? It could be. But either way, you put this on your toilet seat or wherever you want to do it. Feel the force? Come on. Who doesn't want that somewhere? Who likes Star Wars? So, I don't have a contest idea. I just, I found them today when I was cleaning up stuff and I had to get rid of them. Please. So we're going to do something. Um, you know, I'm not doing anything where you have to subscribe or anything like that. We're just going to do a nice little giveaway. Totally free. No purchase necessary. Um, 
You just have to be comfortable with emailing me your address or your P.O. box or something like that. I don't share anybody's information. I don't sell it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know how to do that. You know what I mean? So, um, that's the only thing. And then you get one of these stickers. So if you really like Star Wars and you want a sticker, I can mail it out. Even if you live out in where Blue lives. Blue Chicken from the Blue Chicken chat room, which you're all in now, if you're in the chat room, actually is from Australia. Is it Australia? Yeah. Timey Kangaroo Down Spot. That song. So, even if you live out there, Blue, I can mail it out to you, buddy, if you win the contest. All right? So, once we figure out what the contest is, I'm giving these away. So... If you know anybody who likes Star Wars, tell them to come on over to the channel. You don't have to subscribe to get the prize. You can just be in the chat room the night that we give them away. Maybe we'll do one tonight. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we're hanging out tonight. This is the return of the show that started it all right here on my channel. I am Rick again. Welcome. We have new subscribers. I wrote down their name. I, edit, I went on Facebook because I was fooling around with my channel here. And it shows you, you know, new subscribers, and it gives you a little list, but then you can't click on the next page, so I only got the last five. But thank you to everybody. Where's the camera? Is it over here? No, it's right here. Okay. Um, so thank you to everybody who subscribes. You know, I, I love you guys. But to the new ones that I got on the list here, the last five, I don't know when you subscribed. It doesn't tell me that. And that's not important. The important thing is that you subscribed and you're coming here to hang out. Um, this is where we just hang out and have fun. I got the chat room I can see is blowing up. I'm coming to the chat, I promise. I just, I haven't been here in a while. We gotta give out new information. We got new people. We got new people. We're growing. We're growing. We're going. Alright. So, new subscribers. Thank you. Vermedius. We're gonna, um, I went over to all your channels here, the last five that subscribed, that showed me, and I subscribed to you as well. So if you guys want to go over there and check out them, they're like-minded folk, and they're here to see what's going on. So thank you, Vermedius. I actually went to his, or hers, or theirs, their channel, today, and was watching right before this, about 6 o'clock. I started it. I got about 20 minutes left on, it's, um... What's the name of this? Oh, God. I'm so bad with remembering names. The true, um, a true horror film, a true paranormal horror film. It's from like September 2019, I believe. It's a 45 minute movie, 47 minutes, I think. Um, and I was watching that. It's pretty good. So I'm going to finish that up later on tonight. Thank you. So go check out Vermedius, V E R M E D I U S, on YouTube. They have a Good channel. I, that's the only video I was able to check out with the time I had when I noticed you subscribed. But I will check out more. I promise. Thank you. Mr. Wolf. M-R dot Wolf with a capital W. Thank you, sir or madam. Sparta Beer Reviews Sparta Beer. That's cool. Thank you. That is a long name. So do you... Wait, so you review yourself? All right, I'm going to go check out your channel. I subscribe to that as well. I haven't got over to it yet. All these are just today, folks. Where's the camera? I will get to them. Bad Boy Channel. One word. Bad Boy is one word and then channel. So it's two words. Got it. All right. Taylor Leanne with the T. Taylor Leanne T. All right. Thank you very much to all of you. That guy in the... <laughs> That's the first thing I focused on. <laughs> we gotta get just that guy in the middle clapping. I gotta I gotta zoom in on him and in the middle. Yeah, he's all excited. All right, so let's get over to our chat room. I haven't seen you guys in a while. How's everybody doing? Let me see who we got in the house. I saw 503. Blue was the first one in the chat. So this is Blue's chat room, as you guys know. So of course he's going to be first. Thank you, Blue. 
Area 503, I know you're driving, so please be careful. Do not text while driving. Thank you. We need you. Game Vet was coming in third. He came in at a close third. And, uh, yeah. Who else do we got? Brandy Phillips. Welcome to the show. How are you tonight? Welcome. Stu! Wow! Stu Gerson, what's going on? What song, Stu, do I remember? Which one? Dirty Water? <laughs> yep, we are live. Do you believe it? I'm live again. I wasn't um, going live with my computer because the last live stream I did, I was actually thinking the whole time I was showing people something when it wasn't actually even showing on the screen. It was just embarrassing. And I had to take some time. But the real reason is I actually met a... So, well, I didn't just recently meet him. It's a guy I worked with. I've been working with for a few years, and I just found out. And this is the real reason I haven't been here for like weeks, live, because I just found out that this man that I've known for a few years—he's a man, by the way. I'll keep mentioning that. Does not like bacon. Took me this long to get over it, and I had to just say it again. I can't believe it. Yeah. 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 I'm not lying. You guys, I know you think I'm lying. I know. I know you're, like, throwing things around your house right now. Punching trees. I know. But, I swear to you, a man, about my age, I would say, who does not like bacon. So, yeah. You guys... If you need time to think about that, I took several weeks, and I mean, I think I still need more, but if you guys need that time, please take it, I understand, and I won't get mad at you if you leave right now, that's fine. So, no, but the real reason is the computer, I'm on an old laptop, it's 4 gigabytes of RAM, okay, 256 gigabyte hard drive, alright? And I had all those, like, old intro videos and everything. I found them all, like, I was, like, in a file somewhere. And I was like, this is, I deleted them all. All the ones I'm not using. And we got a little speed. So I think we're better to be back online. And we got sun, we got light now. When's the last time you sh you've seen the show with light? Never. Once. I did one show with light. And I hated it. I was actually blinded for a few days after that, and so I hope you guys appreciated that, you know? And this right now, I'll probably be blinded for a month. So. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go over. What do we got going on in the chat room? You guys are getting crazy over there. You know what I mean? Everybody calm down. We're back. What? Hold on. Game Vet is saying... I just hired Kermit to come on and do the, the voiceovers. Do you know how much that cost me? And now to find out that he doesn't like bacon too? Yeah, I just... I need, I'm going to need another vacation. Another month. Alright. So, welcome. Hey, we got... Uh, Alright, what is this now? Do you guys want to be famous with spam? We pro hey, we got our first spam. Is that spam? What is that? <laughs> Buy followers? Yeah. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, we got some spam, folks. Here you go. If you guys want to buy followers. <laughs> I couldn't pay people to watch this show. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I don't think I'm going to worry about buying followers. All right. Oh, Brandy. What's going on? Is Brandy having issues? I can't have people coming in here and having issues with the chat you know what i mean i want to help you out so if you need some help please let me know i don't know what's if you have an issue seeing the chat is that what it is oh are you in the um if you're watching on youtube you should be with everyone else but facebook it's also was streaming on facebook and twitch as well which i have to change the name over at twitch because it's still um paranormal theory but do you guys like the new logo? Do you see the new? Where is it? Oh, look, I can touch it. Ooh, ooh, that's hot. That's a hot logo. It's kind of missing something. But what that is is the 
which is a pretty cool actually idea i thought i took the exclamation mark and i turned it sideways and it actually makes a u like the unknown and then like this little line kind of makes a t so it's like the unknown but i'm gonna like add what i want to do is add like a little bump like at the end of that where the t would be you know what i mean so it'll kind of look like a t u and then i'm gonna kind of put some color behind it so hope you guys like it that's something new i'm working on and we have to change all that over at the other sites too facebook and uh twitch yeah we're on twitch now too so what we do here on the unknown ghosts ufos cryptids unexplained mysteries paranormal supernatural and now with bacon that's right folks the unknown is now served with bacon Yep, that's right. Thank you. All right. So, uh, what do we? I didn't really plan much tonight because, like I said, I wanted to just come in, touch base with everybody, um, say hi. I had some Hubble stuff, so we touched base. I touched base. Did I touch your base? <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's so rude of me. <laughs> All right. So new, all right, I got the list. We're doing the list tonight, folks. I'm doing this, all right? We're building things here, so you have to be organized. So we did the touch base. We did the new subscribers. Thank you. I got to learn to read my own. <laughs> what it is is, like, I'll write it down on a piece of paper and, like, try to be, like, neat with it. And then as I'm writing it, I'm like, oh, I'll just make notes and then I'll just transfer it all to another paper and, you know, organize it. And then I just never do that second part, so it all just stays a mess. But The next thing, I'm just going right into water here because this is cool. Actually, you guys will notice the thumbnail of tonight's show was uh, Annabelle from The Conjuring. And I just recently found out that I hit my mic and it's annoying. Um, the Conjuring has seven movies. Did you guys know that? Seven? Is it seven? Yeah, it's seven. Or eight. Seven or eight. But they, they go in a certain order, and you can't watch them in the order that they were released in the theaters or, you know, and whatever. So I've been, I started the first two. Let me go to the link. I can actually pull this up. Let's, uh, we're doing kind of a test here, too, where we test out uh, the limits and I apologize for the air conditioner in the back. And I'm trying to have this music on this screensaver up a little just to like mask it. But I just don't have a thing to fix it right now. And if you're in the east coast of America, then right now you know we're in a heat wave. And if I don't have my air conditioner on 52 degrees, I will die. All right. So... The Conjuring has, if you like horror movies and you want to find out, you know, a little bit more let me get this out of here about that whole the history of the story. It's not just about Annabelle and, you know, um, the Warrens. It's about there's a whole history. So you gotta watch the first one, which was, oh gosh, now I forget it. See how bad I am with names? But, I, well, you know what? I have the list. I, I grabbed it for you guys. And all of these links for everything I show, as you know, will be in the description below. Ho, ho, ho. See, that all rhymed. All right. So let's go check out this. This is The Conjuring. Let's go open this link. And then we're going to uh, stop sharing that screen, and we're going to share the new one. Wait. No, 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 no. No, don't do this to me. I copied the wrong link to the, wait, maybe if I open this one, this will be the right, nope. <sighs> Alright, let me just delete this link because I copied the wrong one for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. Alright, so anyways, while I'm looking it up. There's a certain order you have to watch the movies. Now, there's seven of them out now. And how would I even look at... 
Can I go back to like my history? Would that show me? History, oh, there we go. All right. Let me just look through my history on this real quick. And it does, of course, it doesn't, it only goes back like maybe shows me about 10 uh, things here. Let me see, one, two, recently closed, yeah. And of course, with my luck, it's probably the 11th. Oh, and then it goes dark is the name of that movie I was just telling you guys about that I was watching on the the Vermidius channel there, if you want to check it out. It's called And Then It Goes Dark. It's called The True Paranormal Horror Film. That came up on my history, so I wanted to share that with you. Now, let me see. I'll just Google it. So I wanted to show you guys. It's pretty cool. I, mean, I watched the first two. You have to... Um, movies in order yeah um you have to I've, i had to rent the first two but if you do that google uh, opinions on your phone you get uh, these little quick surveys all the time and it adds up i already got like 10 bucks saved up on there so i can you use the that you, you rent the movie for two bucks four bucks you can watch a couple movies so it's free all right so how to watch chronologically let me share this with you this isn't the same um, website but we will just look at it because it shows the same exact thing probably all right if you already know this then you know i'm sorry to have to go put you through this but i just discovered this and i did not know i just thought it was the conjuring you know one two three but no 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 all these other movies are tied into that and even the first one alone shows that the... Uh, I, won't, I don't want to ruin anything for anybody. You know what I mean? I'm not that type of person. So we, I no spoilers here on this show. Spoiler free. All right. Let's share that. With a little push of that button there. Hey, look at that. All right. So this is how to watch them. Chronological order events. The Nun. Yeah, this is the one I watched. The first one you want to watch is The Nun. Oh, I actually didn't watch the second one yet. I actually... Oh, no. I hope I didn't rent it and then it ran out. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, The Nun you want to watch first. Okay, and this goes back in history... The early 1900s, I believe, and it's real. I, this was this was pretty creepy. All right, and it gives you a little history on the backstory of how this all started. Then you want to go watch Annabelle Creation. Okay, these are all the different Annabelle movies, but you don't want to watch them in order of when they were released. You want to watch them in this order. Okay, and this is going to tell you the story. Then you want to watch Annabelle. Okay, that's the first one. Then you go on to go watch The Conjuring, the first Conjuring movie, all right, which was really good. I actually didn't like that the first time I saw it in theaters. I hated it, and I said, this is stupid. The worst movie I've ever... I wanted to conjure my $11 back, I said to my friend as we were leaving. And then I saw the second one, um, not too long ago, and I was like, I fell in love with it, I said, wow, and then I went back and watched the first one, I was like, this is so much better now that I like the characters and got into the story more, so, now you want to go watch The Conjuring, alright, and that is what, one, two, three, that's the fourth one, then you want to go watch Annabelle Comes Home, is the fifth one, then you want to go watch The Curse of La Llorona, and that's the far that's the most far removed of the conjuring verse films takes place in 1973 all right and these are all see how the dates are going to you get 1955 1950s romania sorry 1955 california 1967 then we go to the conjuring's 1971 then we go to annabelle comes home 1972 then we go to The Curse of La Llorona, 1973. Then we go to The Conjuring 2. 
which is 1977 and then we go to the devil made me do it which is the last one that just came out in 1981 all right and if i play that clip right there this channel will be shut down instantly <laughs> all right so I just thought that was cool. I discovered that recently and wanted to share with you guys if you're into the horror and wanted to find out more. It's a whole series I did not know. It's not just the three series, the three movies and the series. And there's an order to watch it. So I'm going to be actually, maybe I'll watch Annabelle tonight. Which one do I have to watch tonight? Annabelle Creation. So I'm on number two. And if you guys want to watch along with me, if you've seen them or whatever and want to discuss them, maybe we can do a little... Um, you know, a movie club or something. Oh, that's cool. Why don't we do, like, a movie club? You know what I mean? We all watch a movie. And then... Talk about it? Is that what you do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I just I haven't done, like, that type of um, thing there. Where you do, like, the book club thing. Everybody, what do they do? Read a book? And then talk about it. Yeah, I still have yet to read a book, so they won't let me in. Um, so watch The Conjuring. Watch it in that order, please, if you like that and you want to. Then, then we can come talk about. It. I'm not, and don't give any spoilers away in the chat rooms for the people who haven't seen it, please. You know, the new, especially the newest ones that have that come out or any of them. Um, but do talk about it if you want it with anybody else who has. Okay. All right. So as I said, I don't have much planned for tonight. I'm just going to come and hang out. So let's go see what you guys are up to. Let's get rid of this screen here. You guys have the order. Oh, let me actually, let me copy and paste this into my uh, little thing here while I have it open so that I will uh, if anybody's watching after and wanted to visit this site to get that list the little description the link will be in that description all right so let me share this real quick with you guys a lot of people have been asking me that you know they come and stop me on the street every day and uh, they're asking me, hey, Rick, how do we su how do we support the channel? You know, I'm like, oh, just tell your friends, you know, maybe share the video or something or two or three. And, uh, you know, they're like, no, no, we want to give you money. We want to throw money at you. I was like, no, no, please don't. No, they're like, no, no, please. No, I was like, oh, yeah, OK, well, I really don't want your money, but I do have some stuff to sell. Um, if you want to, you know, have something. Cause I don't want to, like, take you, just your money and not give you anything. You know, because the show is, has no value at all. So, Jesus. <laughs> so, I wanted to give you something back. And what I came up with, I, I looked around my house. And I came up with a little list here. And I'm going to share it with you guys. Of things I have for sale. And if you guys want to buy any of this stuff, just let me know. Shoot me an email. It's all free shipping. It's absolutely no returns. Um, let's go through the list here. All right, shall we? You know, this helps support the channel. So all the money goes uh, into foot rubs for me. And nothing else. Maybe some McDonald's on the way home. All right. So anything you give to this channel, just know it goes to that. So if you want to support the channel... Here you go. I'm selling uh, one clump of real ghost hair. That's right, it's real. It's been verified as real by an expert. I have one brand new sock. Okay, the color may vary. I can't guarantee the color, but the sock is brand new. All right. We have only one left, so this is going quick. It was a hot item, and I'm sorry there's only one left, but we have 1.5 ounce bottle of Aunt Bell's authentic alien DNA. And it is authentic. This flying off the shelves. Uh, we have one dish towel. Yeah. 
I don't know if it's clean or dirty. We cannot guarantee that, folks. But like I said, there are no returns. I have one song I didn't write, but I still take credit as the writer. I will send that over to you. Okay? You send that over. Um, for a very low price, you can get two AARP bumper stickers. That's right, two of them, not just one, for one price. For that same exact price, you can get one hate note written to the person of your choosing. All right? Anybody you want, I'll write one hate note to them. How much you hate them. I have one overdue VHS copy of Yentl with the sleeve. <laughs> If you've seen Yentl, you know it's a classic. You don't have to worry about returning it because Blockbuster's closed, so you get to keep it. All right. We have three Sanka packets inside one Christmas themed coffee mug. <laughs> My God, who writes this stuff? <sighs> um, so you get three, pa you get all three packets inside the one mug. All right. Uh, also up for sale, we have one of my cousin's diaries. Yes, I don't know which one, but you will get one of them. Um, one soup. Yeah, you just get one soup. That's all it is, just one soup. All right. If you don't like that, we got one item of your choice from my family's house. Yeah, anything you want, you get one. You have to choose one. Free ship. Don't forget, folks, free shipping on all of this. Uh, one to seven is how many ever... However many slices of pizza are left at the uh, time of your order. So it could be between one and seven, because you know I'm going to at least, uh, you know, one. Um, and then three tickets. Yep, just three. We have three tickets. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, those things are up for sale. If you would like to support the channel, we appreciate it very much here at The Unknown. Okay. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, I was going to play a video, um, I think it was a UFO video from Unexplained Phenomena, who has graciously allowed us to play their videos. If you want to go check them out, please do. Their link to their channel will be in the description of this video shortly after it has published. Um, <clears throat> let me see, Unexplained Phenomena, let me see me. Alright, let me find that link here for you guys. And then, here we are. Hopefully I didn't have the same link for all three of my, uh, things here. That would be embarrassing. Oh, no, nice. Oh, hey. Hey. I'm going to lower that a little. Sorry. I don't have the YouTube premium anymore, so I have to suffer through ads right now. I just don't justify paying money for, you know what I mean? So, I'm not paying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Unexplained phenomena. This is top seven mysterious UFOs caught on camera. Let me go over to the chat. What are you guys doing? I didn't even say hi to you guys too much tonight. Sorry, I came to hang out. I'm sitting here showing you videos. <sighs> All right, you guys getting rowdy over there? What's going on? 78 comments in the chat room. My God, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't see anybody. So we got Captain Carosa. Welcome. Fakebook user. Yo-ho. We got Coral Ann. Welcome. Hello. Where do you buy? You can just send me an email. Yep, with whatever you want. I can't guarantee that anything will be um, left by the time you order. But if you get your emails in quick with uh, your cash, along with that, my PayPal is Jr. at gmail.com just send the cash there and your email and send your uh, address to the email whenever yeah <laughs> yes you can get me <laughs> all right Oh, nice. Welcome, Coral. We're just hanging out tonight. I didn't have much charged up. Um, yeah, charged up. I said that because I was looking at my charger when I said that's so funny. Um, 
planned because I wanted to hang out with everybody and say hello. So hello. <laughs> Coraline just cooking dinner and back on the computer. You don't like Sanka? Oh, all right. Well, Ovaltine. I haven't tried Ovaltine, I don't think. But I'm going to have to try it. You know what I like is the, um, the Yoo-Hoo. Yoo-Hoo! Is that how they do the commercial? Yoo-Hoo! Well, I forget how they do it, but, um, I love that stuff, my god. Mm. Something about chocolate, you know what I mean? Like in drink form, it's just so good. <laughs> I do it in the mocha coffee I have, and, oh, I just love it. All right, so I actually hated chocolate when I was a kid. You believe it or not? I didn't like chocolate or cheese when I was growing up, and now that's all I eat: chocolate and cheese sandwiches. All right. So, like I said, oh, did you guys hear? I did. I want to show something from um, the Hubble. It was on the. You know, I follow the Hubble, so I'm always seeing the images. It's, oh my gosh. Did you guys see that one picture of the Hubble? Like, we're going to be watching the mysterious UFOs videos in just a moment here, but I just wanted to say hi to you guys. But the Hubble, um, you can have the sock. The person who ordered it canceled, so it's all yours. Yeah. Captain Corrosive is the proud owner of a sock. I don't know what color it is, but... Please let us know when it arrives at your house. All right. The Hubble was in sleep mode. I don't know if it's back online because I read, I went on vacation, like I told you. I didn't have Wi-Fi for a while. I was up in the mountains. All right. But it was in sleep mode because um, I guess that's an old computer from the 80s, right? Up in the Hubble. But it was in sleep mode as I trying to figure it out. And I don't know. I didn't get to check up on it to see if it's back online. But my gosh, I saw a picture on there. And if you follow the Hubble, then you've seen this picture. And it's recent too. Um, and it looks like something out of a movie. I mean, I have no other way to describe it. You know, and I'm going to be showing you guys that tonight. So please stick around because... It's probably the most amazing photo I've ever seen in my life, like, of anything, because if it's real, I mean, it's real, the Hubble's taking it, but, I mean, you just look at it, and you're like, is that real? Then you're like, oh my god, that's real. <laughs> you're like, wow. So, I like to tease you guys and build things up, and then not give you anything. So we'll be checking that. I want to show you guys that picture, and then... While we're over on that site, the NASA site, to see the Hubble photos, we will also be seeing if it's back up. So I think I believe the computer on board of the Hubble is from the 80s, and they were they had to put it in sleep mode while they they tried something was wrong with it. And I wanted to check up because you know if the Hubble, um, if it's if it's out of commission. Then we gotta make a little, you know, taps song for it. A little taps video. <laughs> so, oh! We'll have to make a little uh, R.I.P. Hubble. Have some, like, sad music as it's floating through space, you know, real slow. Like, get some sad piano music as it drifts off. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Yeah, so we'll check up on that. We're also going to be looking at the... the um, do you guys want to watch the video now? From, um... Unexplained Phenomena? Let's check it out. 
Top 7 Mysterious UFOs Caught on Camera. Alright, folks, let's get back into it. Come on! And also, you know what I'll do? This is what we'll do. For our little prizes here. Where are you? Over here. Go to my Twitter, which is at Paratherium, P A R A T H E O R I U M. Okay? Or The Unknown, you'll see me on. It's called The Unknown on Twitter. Sign up there, and I'll do a little contest over there connected to the YouTube, or if you're watching on Facebook or Twitch, we'll connect it to the video live chat somehow, but I'll announce it over there. I don't have the thousand subscribers, so I can't do those little short, uh, the little, um, you know what I mean? Those little update things. Like I can't do the community stuff. I can't. So, my only option is to do it on Twitter or Facebook. So I want to do it on Twitter because I have a lot of followers over there. Facebook, nobody really uses us <laughs> except me to post my annoying things. Um, so get over on Twitter. We'll come up with the contest for this. And then on the next, or whenever I figure it out, the show after, I'll, I'll post it up on there. And if you want to find out how to get my Twitter, just go to my homepage here on YouTube of my channel and click the little beep up top on my banner and you'll see the little Twitter and Facebook. You can join the Facebook group, which is private, so you can keep private in there. Or you can join the Twitter or you can join both. You can do whatever you want. All right, You don't have to join any, <laughs> which is what most people are doing. <laughs> All right, so, um, I had a funny thing. You guys are going to love this. Let me see. I hope I don't have it on camera. Hold on. I'm trying to hold it. I'm trying to hold it off camera here, folks. I'm trying. So I went on for my camping trip, ordering food and stuff like that, you know, getting some snacks and chips and pretzels, and I wanted some cheese balls. I said, I want a big, you know, those... You know those little buckets of cheese balls you buy them? They're like five bucks at the supermarket. And uh, I was like, oh, I want that. You know, they have they come in the clear jar. You guys have seen them. They're always sitting in the middle of the aisle. Stacked up. So I go on Amazon, and I see the cheese balls, and I buy them. <laughs> and the thing gets to my house. You guys ready for this? <laughs> this thing gets to my house. And I gotta eat these things because these are only good till July, like next week. This thing gets to my house. Look at how big this is. <laughs> it's like got ten thousand cheese balls in it. <laughs> oh my god. So I've been eating cheese balls for like two weeks straight. And I don't want and I haven't even touched it. This is after two weeks. I, I did not know it was this big. Look at two weeks of cheese balls. And no, I can't give them away. Nobody wants them. So maybe I'll add those into the um, the prize package. Who knows? Maybe a little bag of cheese balls. <laughs> I got to get rid of them, folks. Please. Oh my God. All right. So I thought that was funny. So when I got them in the mail, the big huge box they came in, I said, what the hell is that? I don't order anything that big. <laughs> the biggest jar of cheese balls. You'll, it doesn't, you can't get the, how big it is from the, um, from the screen, but the thing is huge in real life, you'll see. I mean, it's just, oh, it's not those little average jar size that you see in the store. It's just, let's just say that, all right? So let's go. I just wanted to show you that real quick. I thought that was funny. All right. What's going on in the chat room? You guys behaving over there? <laughs> oh, Coral, you don't like Twitter? That's okay. Coral, we will keep you updated on Facebook. All right. I will let you know of the contest. All right. <sighs> it didn't come up. 
Oh, you're missing the O. Try uh, T H E O R. Like it's para, as in paranormal. P A R A. And then I took theory. T H E O R. And then I dropped the Y. So it's T H E O R. And then I just put um at the end. So like, um, I like it. Okay. You know, like, um. <laughs> I just thought it sounded cool all mixed up. All right. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Was it, did I say that right? <laughs> welcome to the show. Welcome. We'll call you welcome. Is that okay? Is that rude of me? Um. <sighs> all right. Let's go take a look at our video. We have a video here to look at. This is from Unexplained Phenomenon. Go check out their channel. Their channel link will be in the description of this video as soon as it's... I'll probably do... Uh, if you're not watching live and you don't see the links in the description, I'm probably going to be able to do it not until I get back from work tomorrow night. Or afternoon. So it would be around... Tomorrow between, you know what I mean? Check back tomorrow between noon and 5 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. If you're not watching from America. And then I'll have the links for everything that I'm doing. But Unexplained Phenomena. Really good channel. Go check them out. They have been gracious to allow me. Gracious to allow me. <laughs> they have been gracious and allowed me to play their videos here and check them out and see what you guys think all right so this one will be playing as top seven mysterious ufos caught on camera let me find um how do i share it with you guys oh i gotta get rid of that one i'm gonna close that oh i needed that <laughs> we'll survive, folks. All right. Top seven mysterious UFOs caught on camera, and I'm about to share it with you right now. If I can share it with some audio. There we go. Did that pop up? No, it didn't. Why didn't it? Oh, here we go. That's why. <laughs> All right. Let me make this full screen so that you guys can see. Everything I got going on here, let me, so that you guys can uh, get a good look at these videos. These videos will be, as I said, go check out his channel, or, or she, or them, or they. Unexplained Phenomena. You guys can see, is that full screen? Oh, it's not full screen for you. Oh, there you go. Alright, let's unmute it. And here we go. This is 10 minutes and 30 seconds. We'll stop and talk about it in between each one. We're going to uh, top seven mysterious UFOs caught on camera by unexplained phenomena. All right. Qué cosa más rara, ¿eh? Pero se mueve. Hay dos. ¿Estás viendo tan raro eso? Yeah, that one's a little tough to see, folks. I can't tell what it is, but it looks like it's just staying there. Or it could be going up, it looked like. It was traveling up the side a little bit. I don't know about that one. It's tough to see, but there was two of them. 
No, we got ads. We got to skip the ads. When I first claim my Hey, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to pay for the uh, premium just if I want to have a YouTube channel, huh? <laughs> you have to sacrifice something, right? <sighs> All right, just let me play through this. I'm sorry, folks. I just I don't have it set up right now, but we'll get it for next show. Exactly what we do. I opted to get the StreamYard subscription so that I could play this stuff and test it all out rather than do the premium but for next time we'll do that all right maybe we won't get another commercial <laughs> let us pray all right japan odishima 26th of june january 2020 oh what is that can we zoom in on that one whoa what do we got I've disappeared. There's a lot of clouds up in the sky, so I don't know if it's disappearing or it's going in the clouds. It's tough to see without zooming in on this one. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did it stay? It looked like it was moving a little side to side, but... Oh, here we go. Enhanced. It looks like whoever's filming it might be on a boat. See they're rocking. You can see them going up and down. So it's a little hard to tell where those objects are, but what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Miami, Florida. 3rd of March. Oh, 19th of March. <laughs> they put it backwards. I'm used to the other one. Right. I'll shut up. It's a UFO or a drone. Hard to tell. What do you guys think? It's really loud, but I don't know if that's just the ambience from where they are outside. You get like that loud. Could be near like a river or something. This is too hard to tell because it's just dark and like, just little light. Oh wait, there's two of them. Oh, we gotta zoom in here, folks. We're getting to zoom in. It's up a little, buddy. Up a little. You almost had it. it. Looks like he's getting out of his car. No? Are we zooming in on this one? No! I wanted to zoom in. Alright. Hello, babe. Hello. Hello. Strange lights in the sky. Detroit, Michigan! December 3rd, 2018. Is there, dog? Oh, hell yeah. Look at this shit, yo. Oh, what is oh, that? I gotta stop moving, man. Come on now. I gotta stop moving right, and record okay. it. Is that like one object? Hold on. Whoa. Those are three together. You know, one, two, three, but I'm wondering if it's connected, like, and you can't see it. Because it looks like they're almost exactly in the same distance. I don't know what the f that is. That's crazy. What is that? I have no idea. We've seen one the first time, just one. And when we came here the first time, and then on the way back, I'm like, oh my God, it's three. And they was all in the line. Stars. And then they like spread it apart. And then they got back in the line again. Stars. Like, this is weird. Stars. And they just disappearing like, and shit. Yes. That is so crazy. And 
Yeah, that one in the back keeps disappearing. If these were planes like coming in disappearing and shit. For, a, for a landing, then you would see the light continuously. I used to live in Vegas near the airport, and you would I seen this all the time, them coming in for landings. And you would see the one light, and you would just see that light there for a while. They don't want to be this long in the same spot. And that one in the back just moved down. Oh. I wish he had a little... Bit. I don't know. It was three of them, but now it's only one. Now there's only one. Wow, huh? Huh. Oh, again, it's too hard to tell just because it's a light. We need I need to see an object. And it's a little easier, but that's why we call them mysterious UFO sighting. Super clear foot asking you shall receive, folks. <coughs> Quebec 2018. <coughs> Let me get some water. Excuse me. Jolie, Jolie. Ah oui. Jolie. Attention. Faut que j'essaie de descendre mon trépied en même temps. Ok, j'ai mon trépied. Il regarde. Oh, c'est si, on a. Oh, c'est trop beau. C'est quoi? C'est un drone. Non, non, non. Un drone. Ok, ok, Jolie. Et là, vous allez voir. Oh, is that? What is that? Did you guys see that? Hold on, go back here. No, 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 no. This thing, what is that? What the? What is this? There was one shot where it's like really close. I'm trying to get it right next to the camera. Hold on. Right before it leaves. Yeah, look at it. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me go back just a little bit here. Because there's one shot and it's really clear. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Oh, yeah. We're going to get it. Watch this. Oh, right there is good. See, I can't get it. <laughs> it gets blurry. I'm gonna stop it though, you're gonna say. Patience, my sons, patience. Okay, Alright. Oh, si, on a. Oh, c'est trop beau. I mean, what is this even? <laughs> Alright, look at this thing. Come on. See, that's the thing if you're dealing with something from, like, say it's uh, another planet or galaxy or whatever, yeah, extraterrestrial. It could look like this because, you know, we have the image in our head that it's a flying disc or, you know, a spaceship from Star Wars. No, it could be something like this. You know what I mean? Like, designed like this. Like, look at this. It's like a space motorcycle <laughs> driving down. Here's the front wheel, here's the back wheel, here's the chassis, and then here's the the front. And there's the guy, the alien guy on it right here. He's gray. See him? <laughs> but what is this? I mean, looks like we have bright lights here, and a bright light here, but also in the back here, looks like the same, if you look in the back, behind this bottom bright light then it's almost the same shape something behind it so it's like almost it's either continuous one piece or it's one big piece or it's another piece behind it and then this I don't even know what this thing is up top it's like round let's see if we can do a quick see like what is this <laughs> oh my goodness what do you guys think in the comments? I haven't... Balloon. GameFed says balloon. Coral says space junk. Oh, could be a drone. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, a drone with red lights. Like sideways. And they can't get the uh, the tilt right. Yeah. Half de deflated letter U. Yeah. Very good. Anybody else? Parachute flare? Oh, alright. Is that from the one before? 
Yep. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, this one could be. This one's up in the air. I don't know. Half deflated letter U. Yeah, I could see what you mean. And like the, the lights are the the top of it. You know what I mean? And like it, it hooks back. <coughs> Excuse me. And that yeah. I could see that. All right. Well, we have a few more. Let's play them all. If you guys want to analyze these further, if you have better uh, equipment than I do, which is an Asus laptop, <laughs> so you probably do. <laughs> Oh God, somebody shoot me. Wait, is this the same thing? Yeah, it could be a balloon because it looks like it's changing shapes a lot. Why aren't they showing the whole thing? Oh, I don't know. This one, I don't know. Those flares dropping down. Are they moving? Oh, these guys are filming it. They're on a boat, so it's going to be moving. See it rocking? When you're on the boat, it's hard to tell because you sway a lot. Up. These look like flares dropping down with some smoke. You know? What do you guys think? I see like a smoke trail. Yeah, they're disappearing. <sighs> yeah, that's a big, huge smoke trail, too. Well, let's see, number one. Let's see what we get on video number one. UFO on the moon. Oh, this reminds me. Did you guys see the... My God, I saw a moon video the other day. And they had like a round thing on the moon. This is the one that was faked. I, I saw this. This is before. Yeah, I'm not playing this. This one was proven to be faked. I'm not playing that one. If you've seen that one, you know that one is not real, so. But you never know. They just claim it at the beginning, too, so you guys know that they don't know what it is. All right, so go check it out. They have. I just chose that video real quick today. Um, they have a lot of other videos up there on their channel, so please go check it out to show your support. And let's all help each other out. You know, a little thumbs up here and there doesn't hurt anybody. All right. Now, what else do I have? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I have a million things I've been keeping notes of because you know how I do it. I keep the little notes in my Google Keep, which is the best app I think I've had. And um, I've just been saving and saving and saving things to go over. So we will be going over those in future Hangouts. But tonight we're just hanging out. What's going on with you guys? Well... Yeah. There we go. Parachutes over stadium. That's right. Go check out 503's channel, guys, too. I'll, I know all you guys here are probably subscribed to him, but anybody new who isn't, please go check him out. New videos all the time. Andy has my favorite character of all time, which is Computer. 
Go check out that computer. You've got... Oh, there's other characters too now. Yeah. Tommy the Troll. Um, who else? Who was the um, demon? <laughs> he was all... He was like... Wasn't he all sad or something? <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, go check him out. He's got the all the new characters over there and in depth analysis and look at the UFO videos and what's going on in the UFO community. Which is far more than I could ever know about any subject, so please go check him out. Awesome videos and information. It's not just fun and games, you know what I mean? It's, he's bringing you some information and showing you why he thinks this way, or why he thinks it's that way. He's not just saying, oh, blah, 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 blah. He's showing you why. And bringing back, you know, pulling up references and articles and videos and go. Just go check it out. You'll see what I, how can I describe it? I can't describe. Go check it out. <sighs> Making me mad now. <laughs> you know, checking it out. You're still here. No, I'm just joking. All right. So I didn't have anything else. Um, but I, let's go check out our, our Hubble and make sure she is okay. Oh, I still get your comment up here. I hate having these things. All right. <sighs> we want to, you know, Hubble brings us some images. I'm going to end the show tonight with this image of Hubble. And you guys are going to say, that's not even real. Because when I saw it, I too didn't think it was real. But you guys, this was real. And I want you to be amazed as I was. So let me find it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we can download it. Whoa, my God. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? This is a, a an image of Hubble, that Hubble telescope that we have floating around up there. Watching a planet grow. Are you? I mean, are you guys even ready for this? I don't know if you're ready. I just get amazed by this stuff. Maybe you're not as amazed as it, you know, by it as I am. But when you see this, maybe this will change your mind. Here you go. Where is it? How do I share it? <laughs> there we go. This is just, I mean, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Maybe you guys know. Here, you ready? Here it is. Look at this. I'm just gonna. I'm just pausing it. I'm gonna let you take this in for one. This is a real picture of a planet growing right now. Take it in. Yeah, and I too was like, get out of here. That's something from the new. Uh, you know. The new spaceship game coming out. The new Star Wars movie. Now. This is a photograph that Hubble took. Of a planet. Being created. Okay. I mean. If that just doesn't blow your mind. That I, I just can't help you. I'm sorry. I have, there's nothing I can do for you. Mentally, physically, spiritually, or emotionally. So. And if you. When you guys go in on the NASA site, just go to NASA if you want to check it out right now. NASA, if you want to see it on a big screen or whatever in, in detail. NASA, just type in NASA Hubble and it'll bring you right to the site. And um, the link will be in the description. Yeah. But you can see in the back here, let me show you. Back here too, all these galaxies. Oh my gosh. And then inside here, but... Uh, You know what I mean? It's just so big, the universe, and I, I just want to see it all, and I'm so sad. I'll never see any of it. It's not fair. 
You know what I mean? I have all this stuff in the universe and you can't see any. It's like... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't know what that was. But, I mean, now we can see it with the, the telescope, but... Still, like, I want to go there. <laughs> Am I just being selfish? No, I'm not. I just want to go to every one of these galaxies. See what's going on. Imagine all the life that's going on. I mean, just one of them. I don't know, folks. I just... I ramble on about this stuff, but I love it. You know? So hopefully you appreciated that as much as I did. You guys like that? Yeah? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> blow yeah it is awesome I agree 503 right dude like I want to go up in the spaceship and fly around like why aren't we able to do that you know why do we have to <sighs> see a picture ooh I can look at a picture yeah but I, I don't know what's there and now I get mad because I can't go there. <laughs> Just like when you see a, a destination on, you know, TV or, or something. You're like, oh, I want to go there. And you just have to go there. You know, you plan that vacation. You have to go there. It's the same thing. It's when I see that, I want to go there. <laughs> now I'm mad because you can't. So, yeah. I just wanted to end it with that for you guys for tonight. We'll do the little hangout. I hope everybody had fun. Um, I think I'm coming back tomorrow night. We'll do another hangout, but with some, we'll have some content for you. So I have all those things I've been saving up for the last few weeks, and we will be showing them. Plus some more. I'm gonna do a little digging around. Oh, I wanted to know. Um, for podcasts, I'm gonna. As soon as I can get the sound issue figured out with the AC, I want to build like a, um, I want to take like soundproofing panels, you know, like the foam ones that you can, the cheap ones you just stick on your wall and build like a box, right? And then leave the bottom of it open, the box, and then stick it over my AC, right? So that'll keep the AC, you know, and I'll put a vent so the air will come out. But that'll keep my room cold, and then that should bring down the sound enough so that I can have good audio for you guys, and then we can bring this channel, uh, the show, and what we're doing here to a podcast format. Because I love podcasts. I listen to them all day. Almost every day. I'm always discovering new ones. And I wanted to share with you guys which ones I listen to, and I wanted to find out from you guys which ones you guys listen to, or if... Are there any new channels on YouTube I should be following? Like, for instance, GameVet suggested um, a channel to me, and now I, a couple of them. Troubled Minds was one of them. Cur what was it? Curious Bunny or something? Curious Bunny sh Show? Oh, I forget the name. I'm so bad with names. I'll always be bad with names. I love it. Like you know what I mean? Then I just use that excuse. Oh, I'm so terrible with names. Everyone's like, oh, I know. <laughs> so, um, curious bunny, I believe, and troubled minds. Both into all the paranormal stuff. So I went and checked them out, and now I'm following them, and they're all the time listening to their shows. I can't always get in there live to their live streams, which they do a lot of, but I'll listen to them after while I'm on the road at work or whatever. So, who do you guys, do you guys listen to any, I'm always looking for new people to follow, you know, dealing with the paranormal subjects, UFOs, cryptids, ghosts, unexplainable mysteries, supernatural, all that fun stuff. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments uh, below after the video, or if you're watching live, let me know in the chat room right now. Quick. <laughs> yes, Curious Bunny. Go check it out. Um, so some of the people that I follow. I wonder if I can pull up my Spreaker list and show you guys my favorite list here. But these guys are 
I really like, I'd like to follow people who are nice people, you know, first. I don't like, you know what I mean? I look for that first, and then I'll go if I like their, you know, um, content. Or if I see their content first, and I'm like, oh, I'll check it out. But then I find out, you know, I don't like them as, they're not genuine or whatever. Or not, whatever reason, I don't like them. And I won't follow them. So I try to, over the years, I have been, let me see if I can get my list up. I don't know if I'm signed in, but over the years, I have been following and unfollowing certain podcasts. And I have compiled a nice list. And it's, I'm not logged in, of course. Why would I be logged in? <laughs> let me see. I don't know what this is doing now, but hopefully this works. Um, so yeah, if you guys let me know if you want me to check out someone new, or, and why doesn't this show you my favorites? <laughs> my podcast? No, I don't want any of that. Um, yeah, let me know, because I drive around for work, so I'm always listening to, um, oh, that's funny. <laughs> this is my old Spreaker account from like 2012 <sighs> alright well that didn't work um yeah let me know oh let me see if I can sign in with Facebook it will bring me to my public profile Rick Cianci Jr. show. Zero episodes. <laughs> what is this from? This must be old. <laughs> well, alright, well. I didn't have the list here. I can't show you. Oh, you know what? I can pull it up on my phone, but I can't show the phone on my computer yet. You know, Windows 11 is coming out soon. It's a free upgrade for Windows 10 users, I just found out. And you're going to be able to use Android apps in, on your computer like show them up there through not through Google Play Store but through the Android uh, store so let me pull it up here and I can just show you on the screen you yeah, know that'll work can you guys see yeah, you can kind of so I got I follow some Star Wars stuff too but we got Dave Scott spaced out radio couple Star Wars podcasts and then for Paranormal we get S4 I've been following them for a while Paranormal Mysteries he um he tells uh, people submit their stories and then he reads them on the air which is good the, uh, Paranormal UK Network which is cool they got a variety of shows over there I like this one's really cool this is the UFO Chronicles podcast and this dude from uh, he's over in in England somewhere but people call in to his thing and tell the, their stories. And one story, they could talk about it for like an hour and a half. It's great. Um, Paranormal Punchers. These guys are fun. And they get into, like, they talk a lot about different theories and stuff. Um, about paranormal subjects. So this, you know, and they're fun. So it's really cool. And they have a, a bunch of other things that they do, too. So check them out. Par which one is this? Paranormal Now? Paranormal Now. I listen to them. Paranormal Now is pretty good. This one I don't listen to much. But Paranormal News Network, which is cool. The Paranormal Concept Show, which is cool. KGRA. I, I, you know what? I'm fun following them. Because, you know why? It's like political stuff. and I don't like that. Real Ghost Stories Online. This one's awesome. This guy's funny. They do like almost like a talk show type thing and then have some, you know, ghost stories in between. It's really cool. You can call in and tell your own. Um, the Paranormal News. Par UFOs and other paranormal stuff. I thought it was Paranormal News. All right. This one's really good too. Darkness Radio. I like this one. You guys listen to this. These are all just ones I like. If you like the paranormal and you listen to podcasts, this should give you some good suggestions. I've weeded through hundreds of them to bring you the ones I think are good. This guy is unbelievable. 
I know you can't see it that well. I'm sorry. The Unexplained with Howard Hughes. He's interviewed um, all the top people in the UFO field, paranormal field, cryptid field. He's, he's interviewed them all, so give him a listen. Uh, it's called The Unexplained with Howard Hughes. He's been around for like almost 20 years. So, um, This one I listened to a lot while I was up at camping. And this is awesome. This is perfect for while I was camping. Jim Harold's Campfire. I know no, it's not in focus. Jim Harold's Campfire. I'm trying to get you the logo at least so you'll recognize these if you want to look them up. Can you see the logo? It's kind of like a skull. It's like a fire but like a skull over the terrible camera. <laughs> Jim Harold's Campfire. <laughs> story these are cool these people call up and tell their stories and i was listening to those around the campfire which was really cool oh and then what else do i listen to and then i have all these ones at the bottom i don't know if you can see but if you want to see the logos these are ones like the last uh 12 yeah these last 12 three six nine twelve are new ones that i just found and i haven't listened to them yet but i try to find the ones that are still active and I give them a listen, and if they're still uh, active, you know, in, with their shows and stuff, then I'll subscribe. And if not, we got so. Like I said, I've been through hundreds and hundreds of channels and podcasts, and uh, these are the ones I've found that I've stick with so far through the years. So hopefully, you guys like those too. And if you guys have some, let me know. S four, yes. They do uh, a lot of information shows like preparedness um, and they'll take the whole three hours and talk about one subject like fairies they did the other day. Um, they do preparedness. They do they did um, the celebrities in the paranormal which I haven't finished listening to that one but they did that. So they do like the whole each show will be like a whole discussion about it and they have like five people right like four or five six people on there at a time all talking on so some of them you know too you'll hear around like on sor like our keith andrews is there i hear he's been there the last few shows and stuff so check them out they're pretty good they come out they have a show every sunday and they do that they go live and then you can listen i listen in on monday ufo garage let's check them out All right, awesome. Let's go. Is it YouTube or is it podcast? Because I'll do it on my phone. And I'll do it on YouTube if that's it. I'm always looking for stuff to listen to. Trust me. UFO Garage. I'm going to type it on speaker and see. Oh, look. There we go. All right. Subscribed. Would you like to enable auto downloading? Sure. All right, we do, we're downloading the first episode now, June twenty seventh. Oh, nice. These guys are pretty active, so cool. Thanks, Stu. We're gonna check them out. UFO Garage. If anybody else listens to them, let me know what you think. I'm gonna be checking them out probably after the show tonight when I go eat something before bed, which I have to do soon because I have to work. Um, tomorrow morning yeah just a few hours from now but I wanted to thank everybody that's awesome that you guys I didn't think anybody was going to even show up because <laughs> I haven't been live for so long um, but I appreciate it and I really do so thank you guys um, oh, 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 oh don't forget Oh, wait, Chuck Bam. Hey, oh, Chuck Bam's in the house. He came in late, but we still love him just the same. Um, oh, <laughs> all right. 
You guys, did you notice behind me this whole time? What was behind me? Not the little head sitting over here, which is Freddy Krueger, by the way. Um, I got... Game Vet already knows about this, and Blue Chicken already knows about this, but... I got the the mask for what I'm going to... for. I'm going to call it spooky bacon now. I'm not calling it creepy bacon because I don't want to be related with creepy pasta. So I want my own thing. So it's spooky bacon. And these are tails. Uh, th not tails. Bacon recipes. Read by a werewolf. Now, let me show you the book of bacon. Hold on. This here is the Book of Bacon. Alright. Do I need to say anything else? No, I don't. But I will. All The whole thing is made out of cardboard. There's no paper in this thing. Okay, now what it is, is the holy grail of bacon recipes. Alright, you get a table of contents. And these are all cardboard pages, see? That's how that's how you have to treat the book of bacon. You don't print, print it on a piece of paper. What's wrong with you? Look at this. Waking up with bacon. You can make bacon and egg cups. All right? So, these recipe he's going to choose one recipe per episode. It's not going to be done live. This is going to be a recorded show, a recorded video. Read by uh, a disgruntled werewolf. Oh, a disgruntled, what was he? Disgruntled Italian-American werewolf. So he's a werewolf, but he's got an accent. Because like, he's from, you know what I mean? He's from Italy, but he came over here to America. When he wanted to, you know, scare people over here, so... That's who that character is. But let me show. I wanted to show you guys. You guys are getting a sneak peek for of this. If you're watching live, I wasn't going to show this to anybody until it. I was just going to surprise you, but I had to. I've been sitting on it for weeks. So let me get ready. Can we? Um... Oh yes, Stu. Thank you. Yes, I listen to that too. I have that on my phone. Thank you. Oh, thank you, 503, so much. Who you appreciate it. Very much. All right. This thing is awesome. Hold on. I have to hide the screen so I can put it on. So hold on. All right, hold on. Can you still hear me? Yes, you can. All right, hold on. Alright, I think I'm all good. I can do this now. Uh, yeah, you like me to do the show, huh? What? You want me to read up from the book of the bacon? Okay, I do that. I read up from the book of the bacon, huh? Okay. Hey, hey look at me. I'm the werewolf. Huh? Oh, hey. Hey, look at me. I'm on the camera. Hey, look at me. You want me to read up from the book of the bacon, huh? And the guy, he asked me, hey. You come over here to my show, you read it from the book of the bacon. I said, okay, I read it from the book of the bacon. You give me one person to eat, okay? Thank you so much. I'm going to read it from the book of the bacon for you guys, okay? You like the book of the bacon? <laughs> I'm going to eat everybody. 
Thank you so much. I see you soon on the book of the bacon. You have a nice day. Thank you. All right, folks. <sighs> now as we all head out for the night and I seek mental help, I would like to thank each and every one of you for coming out tonight. And please, keep an eye out for Harry D. Werewolf reading excerpts from the Book of the Bacon. Oh, he'll also be, he's got a nice outfit too. So don't think it's just a mask and gloves. No, there's a whole... I'm not wearing like a whole wolf outfit. But... I will be um, wearing something which is pretty funny. <laughs> Let's get him back on the shelf there. Um, yeah, so that's it for tonight. Keep an eye out for Spooky Bacon coming soon to this channel. Where not only will you hear a, um, a recipe read, you know, in a spooky manner by Harry D. Werewolf. But you're going to learn, you get a recipe, you get a free recipe. What other channel gives you recipes? Well, besides every cooking channel on YouTube. Um, <laughs> one day we'll have something original, folks. All right. You guys have a good night. We will see you. Thanks for coming to the hangout, the show that started it all right here. When we were random, what was it? Random Rick. Yeah, I started as Random Rick with the hangout. All right. You guys have a good night. Thank you all. What else can I say? I don't know what else to say. I hit goodbyes, but we're going to have to do it. Coral Stew, Game Vet, Chuck Blue. Area 503, welcome to the show, Brandy. Who else did I miss? I hope I didn't miss anybody. I feel really bad when I miss people in the chat room. So if I missed you, I'm so sorry, but I cannot read every single message in the chat room, unfortunately. Thank you, guys, and you have a good night. I'm going to go get something to eat, and I have to go to work tomorrow, but... I'm doing that research when I get home. I'm going to put in the links if you need any of those links that were on tonight's show. And then tomorrow... Ooh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. So I get something for you. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good night. Love you. Take care. And thanks again for being here and part of the family. Thank you. Have a good one. Oh, no, 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 no. I forgot the most important part of the show, which is my favorite part of the show. When the credits are rolling, you hear the little video start playing. You guys put your comments in there. Put your comment. Put funny stuff. Be funny. And I'm going to put it on the... Yo, you guys are the ending credits. This is the ending credits of each show. You guys control what is seen. So... Put in the ending credits to the little thing. You know what I mean? So I pop them up on the screen like your little comments. Like, hee hee hee. But this is going to be... This is for you guys. So you guys control the ending of the, each show. This is your time to shine. Put it. Maybe you have a business. You want to put the phone number or the email. Put it up there. Maybe you want to tell a joke. Put it up there. Maybe you want to tell me I suck. Put it up there. I'll put it up there. I don't care. This is your show. You guys do it. I'll see you. And if you don't do it, I'll be mad. All right. I'm just joking. I love you guys. Bye.